So now for question number one from C12, um, October 2018, International A-Level, which also is question number one from my practice paper A for the P1 International A-Level students taking the new P1 paper. Um, so we'll be in both of the playlists for those. Here we have, okay, part one. Question one, part one. It says, given that 125 times the square root of five is equal to five to the power of a, find the value of a. So basically what they want us to do is to express all of this as five to the power of something, okay? We wanna have, it's like an exponential equation. So you wanna express them both with the same base and if their bases are the same, the powers will there be, therefore be the same. So let's now, uh, change this so it's 5 to the power of something. Now 125 is 5 cubed. Okay, if you're not sure, you can just make sure using your calculator. Well, basically, we, we know that this is 5 to the power of something, so obviously they want us to express this as 5 to the power of something. So if you just, you know, you can just um, try different values for, for this, but we know 5 squared is 25, 5 cubed is 125. So you know this is 5 cubed, and you know five, the square root of five is the same as five to the power of half. So I can write this as five cubed times five to the power of half. Um, that's equal to five to the power of eight. So five cubed times five to the power of half. Remember we have to add the power. So it's like five to the power of three plus a half. Okay, equals five to the power of eight. So we can say a is equal to three and a half. Three and a half, three point five, seven over two, as you wish. Okay, so that's the value of a. Okay, just rewrite it so they both have the same base, then the powers must be the same. Okay, now for part two, we are to show that 16 over 4 minus root 8 equals 8 plus 4 root 2. You must show all stages of a working. So in this type of question, especially where they have given us the answer, you have to be really careful to show your steps properly so that the examiner can see exactly how you have done the work. So you've got 16 over four minus the square root of eight. Okay, so now um, what we can do here is we can uh, multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. We want to rationalize the denominator. So if I multiply both the top and bottom of this equation, of this, sorry, of this fraction, by four plus root eight, four plus root eight, so both top and bottom multiplied by four plus root eight, then you haven't changed the value of this fraction, but you have changed its form so that this will become rational at the bottom. So 16 times four is 64, and 16 times root eight, leave it at that for now, divided by, and then when you multiply this, you get four times four, which is 16, and you'll have four times root eight, and minus four times root eight, which will disappear. That was the whole point, to get rid of the, the third. And then minus root eight times plus root eight, which is minus eight. Okay, now we can try to simplify this. So let's simplify this by doing a couple of things. Let's take out a common factor on the numerator, which is 16. We've got 16 times 4 minus uh, root 8. And underneath you've got a common factor of 8. 16 minus, well, well you've got 8 basically, not a common factor, but 16 minus 8 is 8. And here, 8 and the 16 cancel out, leaving you with 2 on top and 1 underneath. So now we don't have a fraction, we just got this on the numerator. So we've got 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times root 8 is minus 2 root 8. Now, the question didn't have it in this form. It has the form, it has the question 8 minus 4 root 8, sorry, 8 plus 4 root 2. So that should be a plus here, not a minus. Silly mistake. Please take care of making silly mistakes like that. Um, so you're going to have 8. Plus, now what you notice is inside this, there is a perfect square of root four, or four basically. So four times two is eight. So I can separate those and write that as two times root four times root two. I'm showing this step carefully because you have to be very careful to show your step. says you have a plus two times two, which is four times root two. Root four is equal to two. So you have a plus four root two, which is what we had to show. So avoid silly mistakes like that where you put the minus instead of a plus, and also make sure you show all your steps so that everything is clear, so that you, you can see that you have not, you know, just um, 
written down stuff from your calculator. So that's the end of that question. Now this question was, as I said, from October 2018, C12, and also from my practice paper A that I made for my students for their P1 International A-Level paper.